Hey guys, welcome back to Fire Emblem, Mystery of the Emblem. Last time, what did we do? Oh yeah, well, we got through the pass, uh, the Battle of the Pass, and we got the uh, the second to last uh, spear. <laughs> and he had for the Fire Emblem to be completed. Sorry if I'm speaking a little bit quieter than usual. Uh, I'm still... I don't have COVID. I took a COVID test, or at least it's one of those rapid tests, so I don't know if that was really like correct or not because yeah you know how those go but my throat still is not feeling great so I'm probably not going to be as expressive this time around it's just a little bit it's a little bit harder to do that and I just uh, I need to rest my voice a bit because I need to do a lot of recording anyway so last time we did all that so now we're finally at pales and we're ready to uh we're ready to take on ready to take on Harden's main troops there's also this little random village over here about uh all of their main forces are kind of just sitting here, so it, it's going to be a little bit tough, but I think we can do it, so. I was able to get through the last mission, uh, saving all my friends, so I was able to do that, and I gave uh, Shima those two power rings, so she's actually pretty good. She's pretty powerful, she's pretty powerful. Uh, I do want to see if I can give her any more shit, like, she comes at, like, the very end of the game, just like me. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Let me give you the speed ring, because he literally doesn't need it. Um, What does this do? Luck? I don't think it really matters. I don't think it really matters. Okay. Let's get in there. Let's take them down. We've got our full team. We also get one extra person when we start. I talked about it last time, that if you let Roche live during, this la during the last mission, he actually shows up to join you, I guess. But I don't know... We told them all to retreat, so I don't know if him retreating meant that he lived, but I don't really know. Anyway, let's get going. Okay. <clears throat> <sighs> I should have expected no less from Akenya. They have such a powerful army. We won't be able to get close so easily. Harden is gambling everything on this one battle, and he appears to have gathered the entire army of Akenya here. But any knights with a conscience already joined the coup and have nearly all been executed. All that remains are just weak mercenaries, so you don't need to fear them. Right now, many people's hearts have already swayed from Harden. People have hardened their hearts against Harden, and the citizens welcome us as their liberation army. This should give us the confidence, confidence like no other. Anyway, this is the last battle. Not really, but you know. Although it may take, it might take time. Please take care with while advancing. I understand. Let's go, Jagan. I'm worried about Medea. Amstrad is too, but he's not here. Okay. So what's the plan here? Hmm. There's a lot of paladins. I could send Tiki over the over the mountain to go ahead and start like sniping dudes, but uh, I don't know how useful that'll be. I'm just gonna turn her into a dragon. Probably gonna do like what I just said. It's just fly her over to kill everything, and that seems like the best idea. <laughs> and then have, like, Paula and, uh... <clears throat> have Minerva and Paula just kind of back her up, since those are the other flying units. Having everybody else just kind of, you know, follow the path of destiny out here. Uh, let's see. Cirrus, you could probably just... What do you have in your inventory? Oh, you have your... your Master Sword. I don't know... <sighs> I don't know what's up with the Geo Spear. It's broken, but it's still okay. And if you look at the, uh, if you were to look at the beginning of the, uh, the game or like the opening and shit, it does have the Geo Spear in there, and it probably has the Life Spear in there now. So there's a, they're still counted as being part of our inventory. It's just that that one's a little broke. It's a little broke. Okay. Um, I still don't know why I brought Julian with me. I guess it's just for, for funsies. He's like a little bit of a. Uh, a sponge in case we get attacked by a random shot. Okay, um, let's move. I want, the reason I keep on looking at Shima is because I want to make, uh, Fina help her progress a little bit further. Because she can be, like, one of the people that stand out front and kind of take some hits for us. <laughs> like, a smart person would not be doing this. And they'd pick somebody like Cecile and still run with her. And while I like Cecile, I want to see how stupid I can get with Shima. Eh, it really wasn't that much of a boost, was it? Really wasn't that useful, but you know, that's what they told me when I was born. <laughs> that's what they told me when I was born. Oh, it's hard to laugh. It's hard to speak. 
<clears throat> yeah, I don't have a lot to say. I just, I took a rapid test and it, it showed up negative. It only showed up the C sign, so, you know, I'm just, I took my pregnancy test and it says I'm not pregnant, so at least I can be happy about that. Okay, let's see how the Akenian army responds. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> They're like, oh, guys, we can just snipe them from five miles away. Holy fuck. They are doing a lot of damage. Fina's already dead? Damn, son. Damn. They're fucking... See, there's the, the red mark. Oh, God. My eye itches. Okay, so I need to be... The problem is all of those fucking... It's kind of hard to beat those up when they hurt so bad. It's like I send them all in and then those, those catapults just instantly kill me. I need to be worried. <sighs> Maybe I should play a little bit more of a, uh, a long game. Send Cirrus out to go do some shit. Have everybody else just kind of be a little bit more... I don't know. Hmm. They can hit her from here. I need to be a bit smarter. Try and... Uh, I need to make sure they don't go too far. Because if they go too far, they're going to be right on top of the... Uh, <clears throat> right on top of the fucking explosions throwing at them. If I sound disgusting right now, it, it, it's... It's... I blame life. Life is the reason why I suck right now. Just accept that. Okay, and then my other plan is just to kind of do the whole tiki thing again, but just be a bit smarter. Like, if we can take out those catapults from the mountains, that means that all of the knights that try and run up will just... They can't hit us. We need to take out anybody who's got ranged attacks. Like, I can take out this guy, this guy, and this guy pretty easily, as, as well as this guy. So, I don't know. Should Paula go with them? Yeah, I guess Paula can go ahead and help out. Hmm. The bad thing is that... Uh... Yeah, this entire area is covered by... Anyone. Uh... You know, Paula could... Do something right there. I think she'll only get, like, attacked once, which... Would be great. This is a little bit of a risky disky move. Might get attacked a couple times, which would be really bad. You know, it's better than getting attacked by these mortars. Those mortars are a bitch, and I hate them. They're a bitch, and I hate them. That's what I say about a lot of people. Okay. Um. Move better. Move everybody else behind enemy line behind our lines to make sure that we don't get too sniped. Uh. Okay. Let's see how the enemy responds now. Fuck off. I knew something like that was going to happen. Yes, blow up Cirrus. <laughs> Good job. Oh, God. <sighs> they are just so... Also, why'd she call out for Abel? That was kind of weird. Do you like your sister's boyfriend or something like that? That's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. This one might take me some time. I could just warp strat, but I don't want to use that. Actually, I could start using that. That's not impossible to do. But warp stratting would just... It just won't work out as well as I would want it to. So literally nobody can go out there and do anything. It has to be like Cirrus and probably Tiki dealing with all this bullshit. Because Cirrus can dodge things and Tiki... Just has so much bulk that she just doesn't take any damage. Okay, time to power up. Super uh, seizure dragon time. It's really hard to talk when the back of your throat just hates you. And the entire point of YouTube videos is to talk on, like, on and on and on and on and on. So it's kind of hard to do that. Okay, wait here, have Fina go right here. Ah! Excuse me. <laughs> I'm just a mess right now. Sorry, I'm just a mess. 
But if I'm going to take a little break just to, you know, stop making videos and let my voice heal, I'm going to need some time to, like, do that. Everybody else, uh, just get behind enemy lines. I keep on saying enemy lines. Get behind our lines, more like it. Everybody just flatten yourselves to the wall. Sucks that we have to do that, but the game is just like, no, we're just gonna throw you into a pit of fire, like, perpetually. And it's like, thanks, game. Thanks for that. Really like it when you throw me into a pit of fire. Okay, um, try number three. Okay, Marth dodged. Tiki got hit for a little bit. Okay, Julian dodged. That's good. Okay. We've dodged most things. Now we're off to go kill those thieves real quick before they get to that village. Because I want what's in that village. Whatever may be in there. Who knows, they might be holding the Death Spear. I don't think they are. I think, from what I remember, Harden's holding on to it. Or Garnuff said, you know what? I think it would be really cool if you held on to this spear for me. And he's like, that seems like a good, that seems like a good thing. And that's a good thing. Okay, because if I can get uh, people to, like, you know, go all the way around to dodge all of their attacks. Like, they hit, like, where Julian is. That's pretty scary, I tell you. Like, we need to flatten even further. Like, just flatten ourselves at this point. And then Tiki can start flying over the... That's not where I want her to go, but you know. She could take a spot at, like, a, uh, a fortress and kind of just sit, sit there if she wanted to. Alright. Uh, the more I do this, the more I can actually start moving units. Because I need... I need these, like, fucking... These throwing thingies to fuck the hell off. Okay, um... Yeah, this is gonna be a weird match, I can tell you what. <laughs> Here comes the explosions, but good thing she's, uh, pretty well... Pretty well safe. She can get hurt, but, like, damn. Julian's okay. Yeah, the enemies are pretty stupid. They're pretty fucking stupid, so... He also needs to run straight for the, uh, village. Cirrus, you go ahead and kill the random thief real quick. You could use Riderborn, it doesn't really matter. Actually, Riderborn would probably be useful against all those paladins that will most likely come right up on Cirrus's ass. Once he decides to take all of their, uh, <laughs> all of their points away. Because if Cirrus can get on here, he is most likely going to be okay. It's not like he's facing off against dragons, like, uh, like fucking, uh, Merrick had to. Let's see, they're just gonna fly in on this spot, because apparently they can't climb up this little wall. Never understood that. Minerva's been here before, as you know. Let's, li let's visit this house. More talking. The Kenyan army has changed. The troops are all bloodthirsty savages now. What is going on with this country? <laughs> I wonder too. Okay, so... Uh, they're still trying to hit Julian, so it just shows how far their uh, attack range is. Uh, maybe if I move Julian a bit more to the left, he won't get hurt anymore. I mean, he wasn't getting hurt at all, but still. Um... I'm wondering what should be taken out next, because if if she goes anywhere that would be walkable for knights, then she's gonna get fucked real bad. She's gonna get fucked in the asshole. And she's a little girl, so you can't do that to her. That's pretty fucking weird, dude. Pretty weird that you would do that. <laughs> she would just murder everybody anyway. All right, maybe that'll bring some knights over to her position. I mean, this is a lot faster thing. Please don't get hurt that bad. God damn. Okay, well that saves her from getting... Uh... Okay. Okay. Please stop hitting my big dragon girl. You know, this is why I play Dragon Maids and Yu-Gi-Oh! Because they, they destroy. She's getting hurt real bad. I need to make her retreat. Retreat and get healed, girl. Because if she can just keep getting repeatedly healed, then, uh, like, I can do a lot better. I can do a lot better. I think I've saved most of this area. This area seems pretty safe. I mean, 
There is like one catapult, uh, one of the swarm guys, and another one of the swarm guys right in the same area, so that could be pretty bad, but you know. Once I start taking their attention away, then I'll be able to do a lot more. How are your spears looking? You need to get a much... What's your leaven weapon? Blah, 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 blah. You got better than her. So, is this an armory? Or is this a shop? I'm gonna check, because they need some better spears. Like, Minerva's been using, like, an, ar a, a steel, an iron spear the entire time. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna send this one to storage. Probably gonna buy one of these. <sighs> so I can give it to, uh, Cirrus. Nope. Okay. She'll be ready to take up the spot next time. And then, uh, Fina is just kind of following. How's Cirrus doing? Um, he needs to gr grab the attention of random things. They go about to that tree right here. Let's see, is there anything? He could use a speed ring. Oh, I forgot I... But he's got max speed, don't he? Yeah, I wish he could go above the max. Maybe that would make him a little bit more defensible, but whatever. Okay, uh, time to go again. Oh god, stop hitting her. She did nothing wrong except for murder you in cold blood, which is exactly what I do. Which I would do that too. <laughs> I would do that too. Okay, um... I'm gonna probably use heal on Lene, and then probably have Merrick, like, heal up, uh, <coughs> Tiki again. Because Tiki needs to be at full health so that she can sit there and just fucking knock on him. Knock on wood over there. Okay. Because if she can take, like, a good spot, maybe at those forts, she could technically get hit a lot and still be okay. Uh, I think a, s a mosquito got into my hair and bit my scalp. <laughs> uh, isn't that weird to say? Do you ever feel mis- If you've got really short hair, which I do currently, you, you sometimes have to deal with the problem of your scalp just gets killed by mosquitoes. It just sucks, man. It just sucks. But what can you do? Okay, everybody's still sticking there. Uh, Marth, you go ahead and visit the village. What's at this village? Oh, it's Roche. Prince Marth, I am Roche of the Aurulian Knights. I have King Aurelius' permission to come here, and I am awaiting your highness's orders. I am truly sorry for the battle of the past. I apologize to you. I will join and fight along your side. Marth, please watch over me for the last, like, two random missions. You are pretty crap, my friend. <laughs> It's like, I just walk up to him, and I'm like, you're fucking horrible. I'm never going to want to be your friend. But I will take your item, because that'll save me a little bit of extra money. Where can Fina go to? You can go to the top of that. She can go to the top of that house. So I'm going to go ahead and have uh, her go there, and then dance. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. I mean, I, I mean, <laughs> there is lesbian love in the uh, one of the newest Fire Emblem games, Three Houses. So it's it's not it's not against the it's not against the rules. At least later on, <laughs> who knows how fucking bad? Yeah, Nintendo's not that great with uh, LGBT representation. I'm not one to complain about it, but like, I can see that. Yeah, they're not that great at that. Okay, here is uh, Stupidity 101. Um. Actually, I might not want him to attack yet. I might want Paula to drop off his good spear and have him do a lot of cool things. Okay. Nope, they're on their way. I could have... Stupid. Sorry, I'm stupid. I've got stupid. Stop hitting my friends. My friends didn't do anything wrong. They just want to kill you in cold blood. Okay, this is going to be hell. Let's fuck them up. <laughs> a lot of this is going to be luck if I win or not. Okay. Because he's got... 
he's got a pretty good amount of stuff, but at the same time, like... She can help, but she's got some dog shit fucking, uh... Uh, resistance. So if she were to go in and help at all, it would really, it would really just put her at a disadvantage. But we did technically get a lot of those people away from the main force, which is great because that means uh, shit can finally start progressing. Um, where should I go? I think I'm fine with being right here. Just kill off that random bishop. Because Swarm can be annoying. It does a lot of damage right now for some reason. It does like 8 damage. And when there's like 4 people casting it, that's pretty fucking insane. I'm going to guess that Sirius is going to get hit in the asshole like a million times. Like a zillion times? I just fear... I fear. Maybe if... She goes here? I don't know. That's a... That's going to be a challenge. I'm going to need Minerva to come up with them to kind of act as extra backup. Marth needs to start fucking booking it because we need to get him to the fucking, the, uh, <laughs> the fucking seize point. Seize from Persona 3's. <coughs> or <coughs> from that. <laughs> I love that from that. That's what I feel like every day. Okay, Marth, you're on your way. Oh, the places you'll go. Technically, we could, like, teleport somebody in. Also, we have not been using the items with, uh, Shima. We could teleport, like, uh, I don't know, Nabarl in there. And is, is Agma really, he's only level three. I guess he hasn't been doing that much fighting. We could technically teleport Nabarl in, and he could just, like, stand there and murder everybody. Just murderize them. It would be kind of... Uh, it, it could be possible, but I don't know if I want to try that. There's still too many people here that are going to be doing a lot of bad shit, so... Let's see how the enemy responds. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Might be. Why do you all want to fight Paula? Fuck off! Paula? Paula Paula needs to not get Dala right now. No Dala's right now. Give give back all your Dala's. No Dala's! You have no money! Fuck, okay. Abel, yeah, you're weird. I mean, I'll restart the fucking mission to save her. If this gets me further along, then that's fine, I guess. I just placed her in the wrong spot. Really, fucking Sirius could have just taken this all on by himself at this point. He seems to be completely fine. <laughs> he's just, he's a fucking king, what can you say? He might die here. Thank God. This map... This map is tough, guys. This map is tough. Tough with a fucking capital G. Holy shit, he's on one health. Oh god, there's no one that can help him. He's actually, there is somebody that can help him. All the way at the beginning. Go for it. Use the power of uh, physic to save his ass. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And this should be able to, uh... At least bring back some of his health. I just have to remember not to press uh, save on my on my thing, on the thing. Okay, so how far out can these guys go? Also, you have a Draco shield. Let's see. We're gonna have you retreat for now. I'm gonna need you all to kind of stay together. Maybe if I just didn't, if I took that fort, I'd probably be a lot better. But whatever. Just gonna move Fina up to help us act as, like, separate. And then if we can finally start taking some of these spots, shit's gonna go down a lot better. A lot better. <laughs> Fuck him up. She just doesn't double things, which is really sad. Maybe we should give... What's her speed at? You know, if this fails, we should give the speed ring over to her. This sh That should help her double a lot more enemies. Um... Alright, let's see how the game goes. <laughs> You're stupid for walking off your castle, you idiot. You fucking idiot. They can't get to us. You can't hit me. That guy can hit me, though. And that guy can't. <laughs> Thank God for dodges. Thank God you all suck at your jobs. Okay. Um. 
question is, uh, she could sh she could sit here and fucking wreck this dude, and then she could also get some health back as long as she survives the next turn. Oh god, this is just they just threw like a million catapults at me and said, you know what? That's that's how you going. It's like, fuck off. Uh, let's see. Lene, I'm probably gonna make you do your physic one more time to help out. Uh, because <laughs> we need everybody right here to work together. Like, Cirrus has to be moved twice. <laughs> Just had to vomit real quick. Oh, I just had to lose my brain for a second. Okay. Yeah, there are a lot of these guys, and I do not like it. I do not like them. If only I could have my entire force here, but I just can't. It's bullshit. When you call someone bullshit, that's what they are. You're bullshit. Okay. Does this even work? I don't even know if it's better than my actual, like, steel uh, spear would be. Okay. I don't know what I should do. I do not know what I should do. Uh, fuck it. I don't really care anymore. Just go for the Rayfear. It should work, at least a little bit. Could also be that Marth just bites the dust. Don't bite the dust. Thank God. <clears throat> it's bad to bite dust, dude. You gotta eat food like a regular person. Wow, you got a defense buff. I'm gonna send it back to hell. Uh, you're not fighting anybody. You're just boosting. You're gonna get boosted out there. <laughs> but as long as Cirrus and, uh, and Minerva work together, those fucking, those mages are fucked. They're fucked, dude. Okay. Uh, yeah, use the silver. And then if I really, if I feel like I'm not gonna win any of these battles, I could just have... Malaysia teleport like Shima in and just fucking like go boom on their asses. Boom shakalaka. Let's see, could any of them get to f fucking FEMA? No. No? Alright, that's good. Uh, we have the we have the much more inferior Draco Knight, but now she's got a, a much better a much better spear. These guys have barely any defense, so they're just gonna get fucked. Thank god. Minerva's still pretty good, so. As long as you give her the right weapon, because... <laughs> oh god, her her attack is not at max yet, so... Alright, uh... Alright, we, we got through that pretty easily. But the problem is, now we have to deal with the Night Apocalypse. Which is just gonna be that. I'll go kill Marth. It's like, okay. You will try. This gives her a lot more evasion, so sitting here just makes her a lot more OP. Marth, you can just fuck him up. Come on, Marth. Yeah, I don't even have any mercenaries to use that on. Maybe it would have been useful during the uh, the fight in Altea Palace, but not right here. I know he's going to use baloney. He used the power of baloney to make us even worse. <sighs> I could just make weird noises. Would you guys laugh at that? Also, that was a really good level up. Too bad it's going to go away soon, but you know... It felt like a good level up for five seconds. Uh, Minerva, you're fine on your own, but Marth needs to start booking it. <clears throat> if we're going to get him to the seize point, which Tiki will probably clear off because <laughs> we need them all gone. Cirrus and Tiki will work together just to get rid of them. You know, it feels like I've, I've, I've had those two uh, do things together before. I wonder. Also, fuck, she's a little girl. <laughs> She's a little girl. <laughs> Good thing she turns off like her dragon powers on my turn and not on their turn. Because that would be really bad, meaning that Tiki would just get wrecked anytime she stopped being herself. Okay. <sighs> go game go. You're going to die, Mr. Thing. So you'll just get critted and you'll die. Just like everybody here. Oh, you guys are finally knowing that I'm going to kill you all? I'm gonna kill you right now. Alright. Finally, the <laughs> the siege has begun, and they suck. Wow, you guys suck! 
Turns out, the only reason you guys were winning is because you have ranged moves, and I do not. Wow. Turns out, you suck balls. Don't worry, I always knew you did. There's no way around sucking balls when you suck. I don't want to kill him yet. <laughs> All I have to say is, I don't want to kill him yet. Death is inevitable. <laughs> you know, it's only been 30 minutes. I've been speeding up a lot of my... Is it been? No, I've not been running at any kind of speed up. I'm just that good. You know? Sometimes you're just a Chad. And you go, I'm Shad. I'm William Shatner. And I Shat... <laughs> William Shatner Shat. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, it rhymed. <laughs> Sometimes when you're sick, you don't feel like yourself again. Dance. Do a little dance. I don't... Is that... What song is that? I know that's a song. It's like, uh... Me and John tried to figure out, uh, my friend John, no, my enemy John, uh, tried to figure out where did Teach Me How to Dougie come from. And we were like, is that from a song? What was that from? And we just didn't remember. Never really thought about the song Teach Me How to Dougie. Holy fucky! Teach Me How to Dougie? More like, holy fucky. Holy crap, I did not know this many people would start spawning. They're just, oh god, I did not know. I did not know! Okay, we can't win anymore. <laughs> okay, so once you get into there, they start spawning like crazy. Hey guys, so we're back. I brought a lot more people up here just to try and uh, take shots away from randos. Also, Fina is living on one health. I like it when that happens. I like it when that happens. Anyway, plan is we're going to try to kill this guy. Like, kill the guy sitting there. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. We need to kind of kill. We need to kill fast, and guns are too slow. Yeah, we need to uh, clear out the general and all of his little flunkies and shit so that we can get in there. The problem is it's going to start taking up the... Uh, the entrance with all of those random paladins that spawn. So, my hope is that I can get uh, Shima to sit there and kind of just take some shots while they clear out stuff. I'm going to have Fima run away because that shit's stupid. That shit's stupid. Yeah, I, <laughs> I hate how she has, like, no health. All right. Let's fuck up that goddamn general for what the fuck. He's been a piece of shit and he needs to die. Did I? I think I used the speed ring on Tiki. What? Ara Kenya has been defeated? But as long as I'm here, I won't let you enter the castle. Why can't you guys just speak faster? <laughs> you all... You know, I think I know the reason why Harden lost. He hired a bunch of idiots to join his fucking army. Okay. Uh, she's got good speed, but she tends not to double anything. I wish she could have doubled that, uh... That general. Hmm. Is there anything else we could do to clear him out? Uh, there's no... This could be a risky strategy. Eight. Eight. Um. Okay. This one's gonna be a risky strategy right here. We're gonna warp him right here. We're going to warp Merrick right onto that spot so that hopefully he can take out the boss without having to deal with, like, you know, the rest of the enemy spawning. Because as you know, if the enemies don't spawn, if uh, the enemy... How do I explain this better? Uh, if the main boss is dead, the enemy retreats. Like, the enemy stops spawning, and they tend to not attack anymore. <laughs> Fuck him up, Merrick. Okay, one more. There you go. Alright, there goes the boss. It was a good plan. If only you could attack with that at the beginning, but okay. Alright, let's see what the boss says. Like, I suck dicks. Is that going to be your response to losing? Glory to the Emperor. Wow, your Emperor sucks. If only I could, like, get Marth over there right now. But I really can't. Hmm... I could start just wrecking all of the catapults, because they need to start going down. I don't know... 
I don't know if they stop attacking. I hope they do, because they're stupid for keeping to attack. <laughs> like, oh, my boss is dead. Well, I guess I can just run away now. <laughs> That's what they should say. That's what you should say! Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, we're so close to getting to hitting some of them. Yeah, this is going to be a, uh... This is taking a couple tries, so... I'm sorry, but I need to do a save state just to make myself feel better, you know? It's like my safety blanket. Oh, they do arrive. They do arrive. Tiki kills, though. So that doesn't stop the arrival of the uh, enemies. It just doesn't do anything. It just doesn't do anything. Stop hitting Mirth. Mirth doesn't like that. Mirth's about to die. I spent so long trying to get back here. <sighs> All this sad music. <sighs> Alright. Time to try again. Alright, so, sorry, I just... <laughs> We're right before we save stated. I loaded the save because I got angry. But, I have an idea. <laughs> we haven't used this at all, but it's a great point in using it. Let's go for again. This should help us... <laughs> Linnae's magic lets allies move again. Linnae got 56 experience. Alright. This will probably help. This will probably help. So, I don't think Marth can get there. No, he cannot. But the thing is, we can at least take up all the spots before a Kenya respawns. Yeah, it's kind of bullshit that I did this, but sometimes you gotta pull some bullshit in order to make the game that hates you do this again. So, we're gonna put, um... We're gonna put Merrick right here. Or, that's Elreen. We're gonna put Elreen right there. If you guys think I cheated, that's completely fine. I feel like... I deserve a little bit of a leeway, because this game is bullshit sometimes. But whatever. Now we can tend to take up a little bit more spaces, so that means that, uh... We can technically... Stop all of them from spawning? I'm just gonna have to figure out where I want to put people. Like, uh, Merrick, you go here. Uh, can George get all the way over there? No. Paula's gonna have to take up this spot. This is going to have to take a lot of redos as well. I mean, this was a good use of again, because without it, we'd be fucked, so, yeah. Marth, you just get as close as possible. And we can't do it again. If Fina was actually closer to us, she could actually help out, but no, she cannot. No, she cannot. Okay, she can't get to anything. Uh, you take this spot, George. Yeah, that's fine. You can kill that bishop. I just, I'm like, I took, there's a lot of tries to get to that one spot that I had gotten to. This map is pretty hard, don't underestimate it. It is tough. It's a small map and it's a pretty linear map, but it is tough. It throws a lot of curveballs at you. Okay. Let's get rid of some of these fuckers. It's like, <laughs> all I did was reload the save and move everybody to a good spot past where they needed to move, and then we restarted for again to fucking work, because I just cannot, I cannot take it. My throat's killing me. It could be because of my sickness, but I just need to take a rest. I just need to take a rest. My throat doesn't like me currently. I just need to take a rest, okay? I think you'll understand. <sighs> God. Tiki, why can't you even kill that guy? Alright, let's, let's fuck up this last armored dude. Just get rid of him. Because he could hit Marth and be a fucking pain in my butt. So we're going to get rid of his butt before he bees a pain in mine. Pain of my asshole becomes many powerful strong. Uh, what's his strongest attack? I just want him to get rid of uh, one of these random guys. But this should stop all reinforcements. So we should be completely fine after this. They only took three damage? I guess they do have a lot of... They do have a lot of shit. Um, the only other person that can move is Julian, and I'm sorry, but I need to make another save state. This is a last-ditch effort, but at the same time, this could just fail if they hit Marth way too many times. We have to hope for perfect luck for them just to not attack or kill anybody. Thank God, I didn't have to reload that save state. 
Let's end this fucking map. I hate this map. Especially just because I'm sick. Oh god, but I did save everybody. Seas. What the fuck? It's you! It's that guy. Boa or whatever. I don't really know. <laughs> oh lord, Marth, I've been waiting for you. I've had COVID for five years. Bo, you've suffered a grave wound. What happened? Mm, it was truly frightening. I suppose the Akenian royal family is indeed under a curse. You should know about Hardin and Nienna's marriage two years ago. To restore a Kenya, a king was required, and only two people were suitable. King Aurelius' younger brother, Hardin, and Altea's Prince Marth. You... Those were the choices, and we pleaded for Nienna to make the final decision. Originally, she wanted to wait a little bit longer. She had begged for her... We had begged for her to make up her mind immediately. In the end, she said that choosing Prince Marth as her husband would hurt Princess Sheeta. So she finally decided on Hardin. Wait a second. Wasn't that a, a little harsh on Nina? I understand that Kenya needed a king, but Nina, she already... You're referring to Gress Lord Camus? That would... <laughs> that would be unspeakable. Unthinkable, in fact. Princess Nienna was the sole successor of the royal bloodline of Akenia. I felt bad as well, but for this country we had no other choice. However, Lord Hardin was very happy. Compared to ascending Akenia's throne, he seemed happier about the fact that Nienna had chose him for her husband. I also understand Hardin's feelings. He could sacrifice his own life for Nienna. But did he know about Camus? If he did, I don't believe he would be so happy. Hmm, of course we keep that a secret. And we also persuaded Nienna to hide it as best as she could. But Lord Hardin was a very sensitive man. He quickly found out Nienna's heart had no place for him. He felt very painful. He locked himself in his room and listened to a text from Giga Chad and didn't allow anybody to see him. Taking advantage of his broken heart, Garnef appeared, somehow alive again. He took on the guise of the merchant to approach Hardin and showed him the dark spear. The distraught Hardin was quickly consumed by the spear, and from that day on, he completely changed. It was because <laughs> it was because I was only focused on restoring this country that I committed such a horrendous mistake. Please forgive me, Prince Marth. I can't believe all that happened. Where is Nienna now? When Hardin discovered she had taken the fight the emblem shield, he had her confined in her room. After that, she would still communicate in secret with me. However, Hardin found out, and then he wounded me. He also handed Nienna over to Garnef. Garnef? Hmm. Garnef always wanted to take Nienna, because he's a little bit of a weirdo. He had to somehow acquire Hulu again. <laughs> he said that the resurrection of the Shadow Dragon required the blood of the noble clerics. And so he took Nienna to use her as a live sacrifice. Lord Marth, I've already, I'm already done for. I will give you my Thoron and Physic to you. I beg of you, please rescue Princess Nienna. Even if Akeni is destroyed, it no longer matters. I only wish for Nienna to be safe. Well, that's kind of sad, but you know. And we got Physic. Great. All right, let's save the game because everybody's alive. And you see what Giga Chad sent me. Uh, uh, what you doing? I'm bored. I'm almost done recording YouTube videos. Want to do something? What, is he gonna ask me to go out to the fucking gym? I've got a fucking belly, so no. Alright, chapter 20, Dark Emperor. St. Akenia is the largest country on the continent. I didn't know that was its full name. Its golden capital of Pales has bathed in 600 years of proud history. Under the attack of Altea's allied army, it fell in just one day, because they sucked that bad. The citizens of Akenia welcomed them as liberators and supported them to their fullest. They also mentioned their hatred towards Hardin and his personal guards. Everybody now calls Hardin the Dark Emperor. This was in hatred of Hardin, the murderer of countless people. If possible, fighting would be avoided, but it has already reached this stage. Marth raised Anri's flag up high and ordered his last command. Go, heroes of Altea. This is the last battle. Everybody, charge into Pale's castle. Woo. Woo-hoo! <laughs> you saved the world. Woo-hoo. <laughs> Fuck is this? Oh, this is the inside of Pale's castle. I mean, it doesn't look like what I remembered it looking like. Anyway. <laughs> oh, they're talking. Your Highness, we've entered the castle. But don't forget that Hardin is protected by the Dark Spear. To fight him, you must have the Light Spear. Be be sure to have the the person fighting him carry it. Thanks for telling me, uh, Jagan. 
Good reminder. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode for now. So next time, I don't know when I'll record it because I'm not feeling that great. Uh, I will uh, we'll go ahead and defeat Harden, but I'll just have you know, next time will not be the last episode. So I'll see you guys next time.